Just sitting there seething through this thing, I mean, other than, you know, thinking about hitting the circuit breaker in the auditorium that crossed my mind, um, you know, these are people who put on a pretty decent show in the morning on CNBC. They did a debate four years ago that was a decent debate. Obviously, we had assurances that it was going to be straight up finance, which is what they do every day. Uh, let me and ask what you, was delivered imagine... was just nothing but a crap sandwich. Well, that was Republican National Committee Chairman Reince Priebus in the wake of the last GOP debate. His thoughts on the CNBC moderators were echoed by many of the candidates on stage that night and prompted some of those campaigns to meet and lay out their demands for any debates from here on out. Well, Reince Priebus joins us now from Milwaukee. Uh, I know that you have been talking with Andy Lack, the president of NBC. Have they uh, repaired relations with the Republican National Committee? Will they be seeing another debate? Well, we, we've got time on that because that debate isn't until the end of February. So, the, you know, we really not, we don't have to be in a hurry to deal with that. So what we're going to do is just work with the candidates on that, get through tonight, which I think is going to be a great debate, by the way. Uh, which can't come soon enough, uh, as you know. And uh, then we'll deal with the NBC issue of, in the months to come. There is a lot on the line here. Uh, David Katniss wrote in the Washington Examiner that this is the candidate's last chance to make a first impression. Do you agree? Well, I think it's certainly one of it's one incredible good chance to make an impression, and we're seeing record-breaking numbers every time we have a debate. You know, debates aren't the only thing. You know, it's not just always about being a good debater, but we know that they're they're important. And and what I'm happy about is that it appears that Fox Business is going to put on a debate about the economy with substance, giving the candidates enough time to respond. Everybody seems pretty happy right now, and I think. Um, I, I kind of use this example, it's sort of like the Lions going to Lambeau Field this weekend. It can't come soon enough. The Packers need a win and we need a good debate tonight. And the quote I um, issued earlier is actually attributed to David Drucker. My apologies, I made that mistake. Hey, Ronald Reagan. Oh, no problem. Ronald Reagan famously said, you know, thou shalt not criticize they, thy fellow Republican. Obviously, these candidates are criticizing each other quite a bit. What do you think about that? Appropriate or not? Well, I mean, I think Ronald Reagan went through a couple of bruising primaries himself. So, um, but the truth is, I, I agree that we ought to be respectful to each other, and I think that we ought to try to be as uh, kind to each other as we can as Republicans. But we also have to understand that it's a primary, and it's it, and, and, and there's going to be elbows thrown and occasionally some jabs, and you've got to work through it and get through it, and then move on to the general election. It, there's no correlation between tough primaries and winning and losing. Look at Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama they, in 08. They, they nearly gouged each other's eyes out, and the, Obama won easily. 1992, Bill Clinton, Democrats, they, they killed each other. They went on to beat an incumbent president. So the truth is, you know, just because you have a tough primary doesn't mean, you know, you have problems in a general election. Uh, there was an interesting attack that's partly directed at you, also at Fox News from former New York Governor George Pataki who tweeted out today, the union leader is right, the Republican National Committee and Fox News are out to kill the New Hampshire presidential primary. What do you think about that tweet from the governor? Well, I, I don't I don't make a lot of sense. I mean, from the governor, I, you know, obviously he's entitled to his opinion and I respect and admire him. But as far as the, the union leader editorial, the fact is we, we carved New Hampshire into the rules of the Republican National Committee. I did it as general counsel. We did it again when I was chairman of the RNC. And we'll debate the issue again at our convention in Cleveland. So um, the early states have their status because of the rules of the Republican National Committee. It'll be debated again in Cleveland, but it really isn't true. We respect and admire the first in a nation status of New Hampshire, uh, but um, obviously it is a subject that is constantly debated. All right. Reince Priebus, the chairman of the Republican National Committee, I know you're looking forward to tonight, as are we. You bet. Thanks for spending part of your day with us. Happy to.